okay and hello hello again and in this video this video we will be we will be looking at the angles again <coughs> in this video we will be looking the angles again the mathematics and uh, the vector graphics so here we are the game we have, have the game here is the racket so at the moment <coughs> it's bouncing like that looks pretty good but and even if I bounce from here it kind of bounces like that it kind of looks good but actually if if I saw exactly what's happening here um, it's not perfect at the moment and I can show you why okay I create a, a nice thing here. I created a variable called stop update. This stop update, what it does is that it will not update anything after that. Okay, so it will stop totally updating. It doesn't update the ball position after that at all. So wherever the ball is at that moment, it will leave that ball over there. So let's see what happens now if I, if I, when it bounces when the ball hits the racket I change the direction and I put the position um, around the racket and then I I stop update so it doesn't move after that at all we just place it uh, on the racket kind of so let's say where it, where the ball is after immediately after it hits that racket this is interesting so <coughs> so let's see where it stops after it hit the racket, where the program at the moment puts that, puts that, um, that um, ball. Okay, so I run it. I know it's going there, the ball. Okay, you see, you see. So, so after it hits the racket, this is the this is the immediate position of the ball, and as you can see. It really should be there actually because the log logic here is that when it hits the ball I should be placing the ball here on, on a racket and not here and why is it here well I will explain now quickly why that happens why is it not exactly at the racket where it should be at this point when it hits the racket I because I'm supposed to place it on the racket here so let's go and see what happens here okay I already prepared this okay okay so I'll show you so this is the this is the um, yeah so this is this is what happens this is the racket the red one is the racket this is the coordinate axis I just put it there just to see that this is uh, this is uh, you know space two dimensional space and so here is the racket. Let's say that this red one is the racket and the ball is coming from here. Remember that the ball is coming in reality. It's jumping like this. It's going step like this. It doesn't come like you know, fluently like this, of course, because uh, it, it, it jumps. It does little jumps, but quick jumps. It looks like it's moving, but it's, it's actually doing jumps like this. OK, so to, to illustrate this properly, this problem, I will make big jumps just to illustrate so we can see clearly what happens so let's say that the jumps are like this each jump is that big so it's coming from here okay and now it's almost hitting and let's say that now this is the last one it goes there so now now what happens in a code now now the code understands that it hit the line because there's a function checking that at this point the code knows that it hit the line and not only that, the code al also knows where the hit happened. We already did that in the last lesson. So at this point, at this point, the code, I will take um, color, just a second. Take a color uh, green. Okay, so at this point, the code, the code knows that it it hit the hit there 
it's just how it is i had i have the function it knows that that's where the that's where it hit hit the hit that um hit that thing okay so my logic was before i mean yeah last time last time my logic was i'll take it back my logic was this that wherever it wherever it um it hit that line i will place that i will place this um circle there and let's see what happens if i do that now so i need to move this circle backwards a little bit so the code is currently placing that over there you see why like this because the rectangle at the moment the rectangle defines the position of the uh, position of the circle not the central of the of the circle but the rectangle okay because the, this is a bitmap actually this is a bitmap the ball is a bitmap and this ball is just inside this rectangle that's how that's how it is at the moment so when i'm drawing this i'm actually drawing this bitmap this rectangle so that's why the position is this uh, top left corner of the and this is what i'm current I'm, I'm currently doing that i'm placing that um the top of the top of the bitmap at that position and that's why we get this that's why we get this this distance this odd distance here which we don't really like uh, i mean we don't want this really what we really want is what we really want is that it should be like this right so when it goes here the idea is that we will immediately place it here and then we will bounce it from there to here so we will never let it go here of course because it can't go there we need to immediately if it tries to go there we immediately fix it and place it there instead and then on the next round it will go there and then there and there and there so this is the thing here and so how can we fix this problem that instead of doing this one we do this one okay so this is uh, this is a mathematical problem if we want to fix this one uh, we need some uh, simple mathematics so i will show you now that i already actually tested this i already did that so i'm going to just explain it how to do this okay it's not super difficult but it's uh, just you know high school college mathematics okay so okay so let's see how do we calculate this okay first of all as i said of oh course okay first of all we know as i said we know the the point where it crossed that line so i can i will place it now there so this is what we already know that this is where it crossed that crossed that uh, we know that it crossed that line over there we know that point okay so let's call that point um for example let's call it um line line x line y that point this point here i call it line x line y because it's on the line okay so let's see now how we calculate that now what we need to do here is that we need to we need to first uh, go there because we know this normal vector also from here we know this normal vector from here pointing here we already calculated that last time so we know this normal which is per 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 <laughs> how do you say that course sorry guys i need to i can't pronounce the thing perpendicular 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 why english is so difficult guys oh my goodness. so this is perpendic perpendicular perpendicular to this red line okay we already calculated this last time so what we need to do is that we need to go this direction and if we are going far enough we will hit the central point of the of this of this um circle and why do we want to go to the central point of the of the circle well because then then we can easily go because we know we know this width of this uh, and the height we know these things so we can now go easily there because it's half of the width 
it's half of the it's width divided by two this is width, width divided by two and then we can go easily there also isn't it because this is height height divided by two so if we if we know this central point of when it's here when the ball is here if we know the central point of the ball we can easily then get that point so we know where we need to place that that this image okay so let's go and do this i will now a little bit take back so i can draw the plan okay so i think i'll leave that yeah i leave that normal this is the normal which is perpendicular 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 to the line so this is this normal is perpendicular to the line okay this is the n vector actually it's it's a unit vector kind of so it's a unit vector okay so it's um, perpendicular to the red line so what we do here is now i will reveal my plan let me change the color okay i use that color okay yellow and um, okay we need we need a couple of um, vectors here now so i'm gonna draw that vector what we need so we need a vector from here first of all this is the first vector okay yeah so this is the vector from from origin to that to that line x line y okay to here okay so that's the vector there and the other vector we are kind of yeah and so going there how do we go there well we go this vector we go there and then we use this unit vector uh, this this perpendicular vector and go via that there that's how we can go there and that's how we that's how we get this result vector result vector which is um, this one this this red vector yeah this red the vector is what we want here because the, the end of this vector is the coordinate the end of this vector is the coordinate of of how do I change it yeah the end of oh I don't even know how to use this thing yeah red and then I press this one yeah so this red vector is the one we are looking for because the end of this vector is the central of the circle and then we can easily go there and there and then we can get that point okie dokie so I will type it here what it is okay so if we if we call this one how do we call this yellow vector we call it um help me help me i call it l like line vector like line x line y i call it l okay l it's like this isn't it? this is l right right small l and so th and this is n uh this is n this is the normal vector which has a length of one remember the, the length this is normal perpendicular to the red line plus the length of this is one so what we need here now is the red line i call it i call it red like result result vector so the result vector will be of course it will be this yellow line which is l and it's a vector right the yellow line l plus that vector there which is n and has and this means that it's a unit vector so unit vector means that it's um, but this is not yet here because it's here so we need to go we need to multiply this unit vector because we need to go all the way there and how how long is this one well it's the it's the it's the radius of this one so the ra we need to go this vector radius length 
all the way here so actually it's um, it's a circle radius I just call it just radius radius multiplied by the um, the unit vector the normal unit vector okay so this is what we need so this is how we this is how we get this point okay and after we get this point well this is the first step we need to get that that uh, that point the second step the second step is that we need to then easy easy thing we need to go back a radius back and radius up right and this is the result this is what we want here finally okay so so um i call it c like corner okay so to c yeah that's vector also so to see it's go going from zero to there i can maybe draw that line also okay like that something like that okay now that c vector is after we know that central point then we easily get the c vector which will be uh, this one minus radius so it will be r um just a second um hmm <laughs> actually we can do it like this that yeah it will be r r x coordinate r x in a coordinate it's x coordinate of this point minus yeah minus radius R i call it radius this is the radius like rat rat radius radius yeah minus radius yeah just minus radius i okay plus and then we need to do the same thing so now we are here plus um the r y so this is this point here is r r r x r y okay that point i call it r x r y that point so r y and um, minus now we're going up minus radius okay and j like that yeah so this is the final result this is the corner point this is how we get the corner point of the circle and everybody agrees okay so now now it places the bitmap here over there and that means that the circle is exactly on the line which we want okay so this is how we calculate it okay so, <laughs> so let's go into the code and i will show you how i already did it because you know this this mathematics sometimes takes a little, bit, a little bit complicated so i didn't want to you know waste time here trying to you know figure out many 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 things so i already made that function here i would just explain it now here okay so i call it like this calculate circle line collide collide collision position is it collide or collision position actually it's called i need to change that name i will solve from this function anyway exactly what i did on in a drawing calculate circle collision position collide position what is collide what's collide mean it's collision or collide 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 um collide collision collision position i think it's collision position so collision position okay so i call it collision position that's where that's the position the what is what this function is obviously cal it's calculating that that position uh, actually, actually sorry sorry it's calculating this c it's 
calculating where this rectangle needs to be so that the ball is ball is now colliding with the circle with the line so it's calculating the calculating the image rectangle position for the circle such that um, the circle is exactly on the line yeah that's what we're calculating here okay so let's see what we what i did here previously let's see this function so what this function is doing is taking the function is taking in the racket direction and the racket direction is this this line here this um this red line this is the racket racket here this is supposed to be the racket this is the racket okay so so this is here the racket position direction and then this is the line x line y that's the that's this one what we already told here it's the, it's the position where we where we cross that line where the ball hit that line we already know that line we already know that position from yesterday and then this is the uh, radius of the of the circle we are passing the radius of the, of the circle and then we are passing the ball direction why do we need the ball direction by the way i'm asking right now aha at the moment okay i'm not using the ball by the direction at the moment but we will need it later so i will leave it at the moment we, we don't need this but later on we might need that so okay so we need only at the moment we need only these informations so let's go and see what we're doing so first i'm calculating the racket normal vector now i found a very good website which tells how to calculate a norm normal vector for for um for a um yeah here it is make a note make a note of this website it's good to go google sometimes of course so this is the answer if we define i mean if you know if you know two points okay which we know then if we define then the normal normals are this and this so the normal vector if you know two points you can calculate easily the normal vector like if we have these two points okay so this line is going through this line then getting the normal here that's the that's to calculate this normal well it will hit it has two normals it is also this one but at the moment we only need this one here so it will that formula gives you the normal if you know the vector so we need we need to because we need to calculate this normal this this green normal here so that's what i'm doing here so we calculate it using the racket and um, in this case it's very easy because because i'm going from the zero my two point i'm going from the zero i only need to, i only need to know the direction of the normal vector okay so it will be if i if i take one more time that website so if, if we are using uh, this and uh, this formula here maybe i'll place it here okay using this formula here <coughs> we will we know that we know that um in this case it becomes very simple it becomes like this because we have zero here and zero here so we will only get minus racket direction y and plus racket direction x okay and then the length of the length of the n is like this and now we can calculate the normal uh, the uh, the unit vector for the normal normal unit vector so the normal unit vector will be this green one which has uh, length one so that's the normal unit vector and then circles new central position so uh, 
that that's this one this r x r y this r vector here so now we're calculating this one and um, this case one is doing that actually so it's l plus radius multiplied by the unit vector and that's exactly what i'm probably doing here so yeah so line x plus line x this one plus radius there's the radius multiplied by uh, multiplied by the unit vector x which is this one multiplied by the length so it goes there and the same for the y line y plus plus a uh, unit vector y multiplied by circle radius okay so now we are here and now we need to go left and up to go there left and up so that's what i'm doing here i'm taking the sir taking this uh, the x the x coordinate needs to be the circle x minus radius okay and the same thing for the y the circle y minus the circle radius and that's it okay dokie so let's see if this works so i use it now so uh, when we calculated the reflex vector here we calculated first we calculated that it hit the hit the line here last time and now we are using that information to calculate calculate exactly where the ball needs to go so i'm passing the record direction the closest x closest y which is the, which is that point which we already calculated and then this is the radius of the ball it's the it's the image size multiply uh, image size height multiplied by two or width multi uh, divided by two doesn't matter because it's it's a it's a square and yeah and then we're calculating it and it will return the circle circles rectangle position and now what we need to do is that instead of using this old formula here which which was a little bit wrong I'm gonna I'm gonna set the position of the ball into it, um, into this new calculated position and i will stop the update and let's see where it goes now oh there's a there's oh i think it's because this is on if the program is on we can't compile it okay so let's see so now it should it should it should be on the racket exactly i mean almost exactly there might be one pixel mm, error okay so you see you see now you see now if i take a screen copy of this one and i place it for example here you see you see if i magnify that there is only one kind of one pixel difference it's it's there now it's now it's hitting the it's exactly on the line and um, let me do it again in another position sometimes it goes exactly on the line sometimes there is a one pixel difference but that's just because there is uh, there's some one pixel differences in calculations sometimes so you see you see now it hits i think even closer I take a screenshot and uh, you see you see now it's even closer so it, it's basically there it's just a rounding rounding er errors kind of here and there but it, it doesn't need to be you know mathematically exactly there it, it, that's a very minor issue nobody can see one pixel difference there so that's good enough okay so let's continue let us continue so that looks pretty good so now if i remove that stop and now we start doing it it will do it kind of perfectly now it will go perfectly now from the bounces perfectly from the yeah and if i go there yeah 
like that. Yeah, so. Yeah, like that. So. Yeah, like that. Yeah, okay. So, good, good, good. So, it's a good start. So, that was a good thing to fix. Whatever I did, what else I did here? Um, what else I did here? Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokies. So, I could try to now improve it even more. Okay, so what is the next step? The next step is that. What is the next step? Let me think. Obviously, it doesn't work everywhere. We we have these issues here that I'll I'll show you show you the issues here. Okay, so let's change the racket racket position. We have some issues here still to solve. And so if I change the angle of the racket, let's try this one. Now we definitely have an issue here. So look at that one for example. Oh, oh it worked. Oh, it worked. Oh, that works. Okay. Yeah. I thought there was an issue. Yeah, that worked. Yeah. Okay, that works. Let's see if all the angles, I have different cases here, I have different angles for the racket. So let's try now the racket, if I put it like totally on the west. Because it didn't work when I was testing, I may maybe I, I didn't, I leave some ro something wrong on. So let me test all the angles now, so if I place it on the west, the racket. Uh, let's see if it works. Okay, you see it's dropping, falling. Oh! Oh no, it works. This never worked actually. <laughs> I was just testing this today. Look at that. Wonderful, isn't it? Wonderful. Okay. Oh, it's difficult to. How can I test it? Yeah, the guy. Gosh. I'm trying to test this other guy. Okay, I know, I know how I'm. Guys, guys, guys. I'm gonna make the. I mean, why, why we using so small racket let me let's make a big big racket you know why am why am i we have all the all the all the all the court here you know you can have a huge racket right so um stuff we don't need to you know have a small racket so i'm gonna say minus um 300 let's make a three three times bigger racket i think so then we can try that the other ball um there you go Okay, now I'm gonna do the other ball now. I'm trying to capture this guy. Yeah, you see, it worked. You see, can you see? Can you see? Yeah. Aha, so it works. I was thinking that it doesn't work. <sighs> I'm I'm disappointed now. I wanted to fix this problem, but there's nothing to fix here. So what am I doing now? What am I doing next? I was planning to fix this problem, but there was no problem. Okay, so but next thing I'm going to do is that well, we need to check all the angles, uh, guys. I'm I tell you what is the what is the thing what we need to check here. It's very simple. This is the coordinate axis, right? Okay. We already checked. We already checked this case. Okay, that the. The racket starts from here, ends here, and it all works. It, it bounced correctly like this. Then I just checked this case that the racket is like this. It came here and it bounced back. I, we already tested that. I, al I also tested this one that the racket was like this. 
it came here it bounced correctly so we have tested this one this one and this one but now we need to also i think we need to test if i put racket like this the racket is like this it can't work i mean I, it definitely doesn't work so let, let's put the racket like that so that will be um uh, I have south, south, southwest. That's gonna be yeah, southwest, isn't it? That's southwest. So let's do southwest direction of the rec racket, okay? And um, I'm gonna make the racket just big, much bigger, bigger because uh, how do I make it bigger? Um, bottom. Yeah, if I make this figure a little bit bigger, like 9, it will make the racket bigger. So let's go to the southwest direction and see if it works. Yeah, exactly like that. So now, boom. Oh, interesting. That actually worked. Oh, that also works. How about... Yeah, that works. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful. Interesting. This is interesting, isn't it? Quite interesting. Yeah. Quite interesting indeed. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that also works. So, and uh, next, okay, I trust, I trust that for some reason I'm kind of lucky. I did not mathematically think everything perfectly, but I'm just a little bit lucky that my calculations, my formulas are kind of taking account everything. Uh, okay, let's try next one, which will be, um, I try the, the angles first. So I try, next one is the, um southeast yeah southeast where is the southeast i don't have southeast so i'm gonna make southeast i'm just i just want to test this so let's make a southeast case southeast the racket is pointing to the southeast and that mm, that that one we can do by by adding there adding to the top i think they're like um 300 it's like 300 and um, compile and let's go oh no 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 this is not what i'm looking for um yeps um Why is it going wrong? Oh, I don't need. Yeah, I I, I changed the wrong one. Um, yeah, I need to change this one. This guy plus one hundred. Plus one hundred and. Um, okay. So. Okay, so I'm moving now here. yeah it works yeah it worked for that ball and definitely works for the other ball as well so it's, it's come oh yeah so it's difficult oh of course i want to do it for, for the fast ball when i get to do it for the fast ball I will I will then believe that okay I'm not so good player it works for the slow ball but I want to see it working for this fast ball oh oh so difficult so 
yeah okay i'm happy now so yeah so you see if it comes from this side and hits this side then it works but but i'm telling you it, it definitely doesn't work if it comes from this side. that's the problem here we need to talk here maybe but so th so it's kind of you know what i mean if it comes if the ball comes from here and hits this one it works like we see here but if the ball comes from this side it doesn't bounce that way and that's the thing to think about next that what do we need to do if it hits from this side um i guess we should we should see it should bounce also i guess but at the moment i don't think it works it doesn't work at the moment from the other side so you see yeah yeah uh, it it just goes through it it just goes through it seems to me okay but the fact is that if you have a tennis racket it should bounce from both sides actually so i guess i guess we need to think about that next i guess before i think about it i will quickly try the i will try to the horizontal and the vertical just a quick that they also work west for example west exactly west so if i try exactly west uh, for example i already tried that oh yeah i already tried this one it worked how about if i try north uh, south, north, northwest. I try north, and then I'm happy for all of this. That's the last one I try north. 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 So that means if you're going north, you mean that the the I need to say so the top needs to go this needs to be same as there yeah like that let's put minus 200 okay yeah okay yeah it seems like that wor that's working right yeah and one more test let me check that when it hits the racket is it exactly on the line now i one more time let's test it so i will stop the update i will stop the update immediately after it hits the racket and after it hits the racket and we place it exactly on the racket here let's see if it's there one more time yeah pretty good man it hit it <laughs> it's it stuck on a yeah it's stuck on the stuck on the racket which is correct okay so not the, not the next thing i guess it's that is that it needs to be bouncing from both sides is it and that's something i'm not sure if i can do it right now because I think that might be something need to be need to be think I need to think think about uh, let me think a couple of minutes if I can do it live here because what we want here I guess it's that it will like for example here I guess it should be bounce bouncing from both sides so if I go like this and then and then I do it with this one yeah it just goes through the racket now right so i guess it should also bounce from that side um uh, let me tell you the challenge here what what i have here uh doing that because i already thought about that using this mathematics um the challenge is this because if you remember now how we calculate this thing so when the ball comes from here and the ball then hits this this section here it hits from the, let's say that it hits that, that point we know this point as we many times say that point is x y and now we need to calculate this 
this norm, normal vector which is perpendicular to this line 90 degrees angle we need to get this this normal vector in order to calculate um, calculate more but now the problem is that uh, we have two of them we have one there and then we have one there there's another one here and now if we go this direction it goes wrong so this is the thing I think about here that um, we need to choose this one and not this one and how do we know which one we take and that was that's what I was thinking that uh, but there is a way to know which one we because we know both of them we know both of these normal vectors so for example if I calculate the distance between this one and compare it between this one it's the one which is closest distance which I need to choose isn't it I was thinking logic like that so if I need to choose the right um, yeah, normal vector I will choose the one where the distance between the circle and that normal is shorter so it will be this one because this this distance is longer than this one so we take the one which is the shorter so we know that it's it's this one here okay so that that's what I was thinking today that that's the way we know which normal vector we need to use okay and because that this is already almost one hour um, 40 minutes I think this is going to be now short what I did here is that I fixed a couple of nice things here definitely I fixed a couple of issues we had here before and I think that's a good place to stop today it's a little bit shorter video we got this working now well and I will think about now this other thing that um, the other thing that how do I get this um, how do I get this uh, so that it works from both sides of the rack and I will can then make another stream okay thank you very much and um, see you next time